All right, so producer's making fun of me because I look like Barney. I've got the purple and the green. I'm not gonna sing the song because I used to sit with my daughters when they were little and watch Barney and I was thinking, there's something evil about that, man. That just doesn't, that just doesn't make sense. Forget about that. Hey, the gold looks good though, right? The gold looks good with the green producer, no? Yes, maybe. Oh, she hesitated. Let's get to the books real quick before we talk about how to maximize annuity rates because I will want to get down and dirty with that so you can understand how to do that. But I have written these seven, no, I'm sorry, producer, six. I have written seven books. So there's six owner's manuals I want to send you for free and under no obligation. Just go to theannuityman.com. As soon as I put the gold foil mailer to the screen, to the camera, the music's gonna start. All right, current annuity rates, how to maximize them. First of all, choose wisely, right? Choose wisely who you're gonna work with. Choose wisely the annuity calculators that you're gonna use at theannuityman.com and choose wisely how you put together your plan. Now, maximizing rates, you talk about, well, how are the rates, Stan? What are the annuity rates like, Stan? I always get those calls. There's not a good answer. In the annuity world, there's no good answer. It's just bad sales pitches, right? But, when we're talking about rates, it depends on what type of annuity that you're talking about. Now, for those of you that say, well, there's only one type of annuity and I hate them all. Wrong, there's many restaurants, there's many trucks, there's many cars, there's many shoes, there's many annuities. It depends on the annuity type. So when you say how to maximize current rates, it comes down to what you're trying to achieve, which leads to two very, 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 very simplistic questions. Number one, what do you want the money to contractually do? And number two, when do you want those contractual guarantees to start? Keyword contractual in both of those. And if you say income, let's just say income's the goal, whether you want to start it immediately or down the road, then rates come down to a couple things. Rates come down to life expectancy, that's a rate, and also interest rates. I always laugh at some of the people that talk about, well, I bought this immediate annuity or somebody's pitched me this immediate annuity. In fact, I got a call the other day and the guy said this. Here's my client voice. This guy's pitching me an immediate annuity and it's got a 7.2% rate on it. What? Let me explain what that means. When someone says they, this, this annuity's got a payout rate of 7.2%, and in essence, it's, they're talking about your life expectancy. Because annuity guaranteed lifetime income is based on your life expectancy at the time you take the payments, interest rates play a secondary role. So if you say, you know, how do you maximize annuity rates? Um, it's life expectancy and interest rates. If you, if you try to time the purchase, then you have to factor in the payments that you miss while you're trying to time the purchase. There's a reason the annuity companies have the big buildings. They know when we're going to die, life expectancy, and they price things accordingly. The risk that, they, that they're shouldering, like for instance, you buy an annuity and you say, okay, I'm going to transfer the risk to the annuity company to pay me for the rest of my life. You're transferring the risk to the annuity company and they're shouldering and saying, okay, if you outlive your life expectancy, or if you set it up joint life expectancies, we, the annuity company, is on the hook to pay regardless of how long you live. Up until that point, we're going to give you back principal plus interest. That's how payments are in the annuity world. It's return of principal plus the interest. It's not some like peel it off and you keep the money intact. You might draw down your account to zero. And who cares if you do? Because if you do, the annuity company's on the hook to pay. All right, producer, follow me. Follow me, producer. I got this huge room, right? So how to maximize rates. We talked about lifetime income. That's one way to maximize rates. But there are annuity types that are solely based on interest rates. So how do you maximize those rates? Let's talk about multi-year guarantee annuities. Those are the CD version. That's the annuity industry's version of a CD, Certificate of Deposit, where you place a lump sum amount of money with the annuity company. They pay you a contractually guaranteed interest rate every year for a specific period of time that you choose. So you can buy a three-year MIGA, multi-year guarantee annuity, a four-year MIGA, five-year MIGA, just like you buy CDs if you've ever purchased a CD. Now, how do you maximize rates with MIGAs? In my opinion, you got to be very careful not to lock them in too long because you don't want to get caught to where rates are, are moving up and your money's locked in at a low rate. So what I tell people to do to maximize the rates is to ladder the, the MIGAs, just like you'd ladder CD. So give you an example, a guy calls me the other day, he had $300,000 to put in fixed rate annuities, these multi-year guarantee annuities, and we decided 
with me showing him why, to ladder that purchase. So what we did is we bought $100,000 in three separate contracts, one for three years, one for five years, and one for seven years. And what does that mean? That means that he's locked in guarantees for those durations, three, five, and seven, but at starting in year three, he's gonna have money coming due of which we can hopefully transfer to an another multi-year guarantee annuity with a higher rate. So he's not locking in on one specific year or one specific duration. Can you do that? You absolutely can. But currently with multi-year guarantee annuities, there's a lot of inventory at the three-year range. That's a short range. There's a couple of carriers at the two-year range. There's no carriers at all at the one-year range. So if your duration is really short, like three, six, six, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, then CDs are your game instead of multi-year guarantee annuities. But maximizing annuity rates with fixed rate annuities, multi-year guarantee annuities, you can ladder those rates so you don't lock in and hopefully you can catch rising rates. The real secret producer, producer's like, what's the secret? The real secret to maximizing annuity rates is to shop all carriers. So let's look at the, the multi-year guarantee annuities. You go to theannuityman.com, we list every single carrier and you can filter it by your state and the duration that you're looking at and we'll list the top yielding multi-year guarantee annuities in the country. I don't know which one's gonna be the best this week to next week, we just have a live feed so you can shop them. Remember, annuities are commodity products. You shop all carriers for the best contractual guarantees. Let's talk about income products like uh, single premium immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts, income riders. All of those are lifetime income guarantee strategies. And what do we do? We do the same thing with uh, we do with multi-year guarantee annuities. We shop all carriers, we show all carriers, we look at all carriers, we shop for the highest contractual guaranteed interest rates using proprietary uh, annuity calculators that we've developed that will shop all carriers and then aggregate everything in a PDF that we can send to you. I mean, that's how to do it. So really, in essence, if you said, give me the elevator speech, Stan, on how to maximize rates, how to maximize rates with annuities is to shop all carriers. Get out of your head that there's a best annuity or a best company or a best product. And if any agent or advisor tells you that they have the best annuity for you, translation, they have the best annuity for them. People always ask me, hey, Stan, the annuity man, what's your favorite annuity? What's the best annuity? What's the annuity that you recommend to everybody? Well, first of all, there'd be a lot of companies out there that wish I would tell them that it was their company, but I don't. My answer to that is this. It's the one that provides the highest number for you, for your specific situation. I have no clue who that carrier is going to be until we run that quote, and we will run that quote, and then we'll show it to you. And then the next step would be, obviously, to talk about the claims paying ability of that carrier. All right, if you thought that was fun, this, this video I did here, how to build an annuity ladder, that was way fun. Why? Producer, do you say way fun or way more fun? What is it? I think it's way fun. In South, it's way fun. Because we talked about laddering for income, laddering for principal protection, laddering for rates, ladder, 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 ladder. That video right there. Hey, do me a favor, click the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next Annuity Man video.